Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and it's time once again for another unboxing of something we're going to be reviewing on the main channel very shortly. This is a 13.3 inch touchscreen that's portable and USB powered, and it comes from a company called AndySign, and they sent us to the channel free of charge. A lot of you have been very interested in these portable displays, so every time I see one that's interesting, I try to get it in for review. Uh, so we got an instruction manual here along with uh, some, you know, just welcoming materials here, a little chamois cloth. Uh, this costs $249. It's a 13.3 inch 1080p touch display. And we'll take the packaging out here. Feels pretty lightweight. This is the case that it comes in. Looks like they give you a screen protector here also that you can use to prevent scratching on the screen. Uh, it is aluminum, so it feels pretty nice, although I don't like this brushed look. I think I might have liked it better just being uh, just a kind of a matte kind of finish to it, but it's not bad. Uh, now, the way this works is that it is powered by USB-C, but it's not a single cable solution, unfortunately. So I guess the upper port here is just for power. If you want to power it and use the touch functions, you plug it into this port, but you still need to connect up HDMI separately, uh, which is kind of a disappointment. It would have been nice to see a single cable that gets everything going, including the touch functions on here, but we'll uh, put it to the test on the main channel. Looks like you got a headphone output over here and some uh, controls for the display there. It comes inside of this case and it's got uh, screws on the back of the case here for uh, taking it out of the case if you want. Apparently it's also Visa mount uh, compatible here. So it looks like there's some Visa screws on the back of it. So you could uh, hook it up to a stand or something that's Visa compatible. So that's kind of cool. And then to use it on a desk, let me just clear the box out of here for a second. Uh, it looks like you just have to uh, prop it up here against that uh, little, oops, maybe not. <laughs> it's that little tab there, I thought, but it looks like it's slipping around a little bit. So I'm not sure I'm that crazy about this case unless there's some other way. No, it looks like that's the only way to use it. So it looks like you have to kind of get it in place here and don't nudge it too hard where it might uh, collapse on you. So it's slipping quite a bit on this case here. Maybe they were planning on having it just resting against this tab, but not the best solution here. But they do have a hole in it like they do on the uh, Asus display that we looked at to put a pen in and use that to hold it up if you want. It feels a little sharp here where the metal is cut, so um, be careful there. Not like finger cutting sharp, but also not very elegant. But in any event, we're going to do a full review of this soon on the main channel at lan.tv. So stay tuned and we'll see how this touch display looks and performs versus some of the other ones that we have looked at in a portable format. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.